Remember that $80 billion Congress gave the IRS over the next 10 years, and a large part of that money was supposed to be used to hire possibly as many as 87,000 employees? You remember all that? Well, if they hire all those people, does that mean there are going to be more audits for Americans making less than $400,000 a year? Here's what the guy nominated to be the next IRS commissioner had to say about that. The audit and compliance priorities will be focused on enhancing IRS's capabilities to ensure that America's highest earners comply with applicable tax laws. So that seems like a no. Daniel Werfel just testified in front of the Senate Finance Committee at his confirmation hearing. Senators who were grilling him also brought up the fact, which I actually talked about in this video way back in 2021, that lower income earners get audited at a much higher rate than the super wealthy and corporations. There's a whole bunch of reasons why that is, but generally, because it's harder to audit the wealthy and the IRS doesn't have the manpower to make it happen. So is Werfel gonna fix that? And to achieve equity, I think we should be able to look at the audit footprint and see balance. I don't think, based on what I know now, that the, there is balance today. But if there is a balance, that imbalance, that is concerning, especially if there's a disparate impact on, on poor people. Uh, if poor people are more likely to be audited than wealthy, that is something that I think uh, potentially degrades public trust and needs to be addressed uh, within the tax system. Werfel also said he plans to publicly release the plan on how exactly the IRS will spend that $80 billion over the next 10 years, and he's going to take a closer look at those high-income earners who aren't actually paying what they owe. The Senate Finance Committee will vote to advance Werfel's nomination, and then the full Senate will vote on his confirmation.